Coach, just where have you seen the biggest difference with South Carolina this year, the improvement they've made? Um, I think that they have their identity. Uh, you could tell that their foundation um, is set in stone now. Uh, they, they guard really tough, as they did last year. They just kind of didn't have the bodies and the guys that understood the system. Um, now, uh, those guys are like a world oil machine. Um, you know, you got Michi Johnson as a returner, uh, he's a really good defender. Uh, Talon Cooper has been a big acquisition for them in the portal. Um, he's a really good defender. And then the, the freshman they have, the, the Colin uh, Murray Boyles kid, he gives a lot of energy to them um, defensively. But, you know, they're just tough, man. They, you know, they don't do a ton of switching. They, they get through everything. Um, you could tell that they, they, they hold their identity on toughness, which is, you know, something that, you know, we've been able to do in this league. And seeing them do it, I, I think that kind of leads to a lot of their success. How would you describe Santi's role offensively on this team? Um, Santi's role, you know, the thing is, is it, has it changed as far as what we need him to do? Not really. The volume's just been down, you know what I mean? Uh, just because we have a lot, you know, guys that – can score the ball as well now. Um, and and I think he's been taking his stride and figuring it out all year. Um, but, you know, last game, he, he took open shots. Um, he took drives and made plays. And that's what we need him to do. You know, we need him ready um, at, at all times when he receives an opportunity to catch and shoot or he's catching and driving to close out. That's when he's best, you know, and he does a good job of driving and kicking and also finishing for us. Do you feel like he's turning down shots that y'all want him to take? Uh, he's turning down a few that we'd like him to take. We, we want him to become a little bit more aggressive in that area. But, you know, like, I know it was two shots uh, against Vandy that he turned down. I'm like, son. And then he drove him and he laid the ball up and he drove one and made a kick for a three. So, apparently he knows what he's doing a lot more than I do. So, <laughs> I, I just kind of let him do his thing, you know. With respect to low possession, kind of slower tempo game with South Carolina, is there any non-conference games maybe that, that they compare to in terms of style? He's the easiest one I can, you know, recall is Wisconsin, which he's a former Wisconsin assistant. Um, you know, I think that the, the balance that we've been trying to find this year is when we play teams that want to play low possession games, how do we dictate tempo and still play the way that we want to play? And I think your best um, example of that was last game. First half, we kind of fell into playing a low possession game, how the other team wanted to play. Second half, we got out and we ran, and we shot the ball better. We got easy opportunities. We got transition layups, which is when we're at our best. So we have to find a balance of, you know, when we go into those games, how do we play our game without making it a low possession game? Because we, we want more possessions. Uh, we feel like that's when we're best right now. Um, we're getting the ball up, and we're taking a lot of open threes, and we're getting a lot of drives and, you know, putting pressure on the rim. So we, we, we've got to do a better job, of that, and that's what we plan to do this game. What do you have to do defensively to speed them up and kind of get them on your pace, per se? Do what we do. Honestly, do what we do. Do, do what we do every day in practice. Um, I think that we have to be really good at ball screens with Michi Johnson because he's a guy that likes to turn the corner and get downhill. Uh, he does a really good job of that. Um, with, with Taylor Cooper, we have to do a really good job of crowding him um, and corralling him in ball screens and making him see bodies because uh, he's really good in, pay, in, in space. Uh, he's been one of the best point guards in the league over the last few weeks. And I think that he's the biggest difference in their program and why they're having a lot of success because he does a good job of just controlling the floor and handling their team. Um, and then, you know, the, the biggest thing is we have to make sure that we block out and rebound because offensively um, on, the, on the glass, they do as good of a job as anybody in the league. So we got to make sure we're really stout when it comes to that. Joe just needs to see a shot go down. Yes. Um, obviously, it's my scout this week, and you know, some of our scout prep was going on upstairs, and I would, I would want to take the time to actually work with him rather than go up there just because not that the scout doesn't matter, it's not important, it's, it's extremely important, but making sure that, that he's in the right mind frame of getting into these games, and um, that, that's a little bit more important right now. Um, I think Joe is going to be fine. If you guys think about it, this year, every single player on our team has went through a spurt where they didn't play well. You know what I mean? Dalton went through a spurt where he didn't play well. Santi did. Um, you know, Joe is now. Zakai did early in the year. Um, and we've all still banded together and found a way to win. So the thing that I'm excited about about our team is, like, 
we haven't played yet where everybody is clicking at the same time, which means that we haven't peaked, which means that we still have upside. So that's the exciting part about us. He's going to get out of his rut. The fact that he can go in a game and, you know, not score and still be plus 10 at the end of the game shows his value to us. So that's what we need and we lean on. Coach, for opposing teams, how difficult is it to guard Dalton? Man, very hard. Um, it's, I see him carve up Jamai Meshack a lot of days, and that's not an easy thing to do. Um, and, and Shaq obviously wins a lot of those battles. But, um, no, he's a tough cover. He, he's one of those guys that, you know, if he if, – let's say he's in a ball screen. Okay, if you if you go over the top and stay on his hip, he's, he's going to drive downhill and he's going to give you big guy problems, which is a mismatch. Okay, if you go under, he's going to stop behind it and he's probably going to shoot it. Um, if he – you go over the top and you trail him and the big is just up enough and he drops back too far, he'll just stop and shoot a pull up. And he's six, six and a half, so he can go over the top of you and finish at the rim too. So it's kind of one of those things that I put myself in a position a few times and as well as our coaching staff. It's like, how will we prep for him? And the only thing we could think of is to double him off a ball screen um, or send a double at him. But he's big enough where he can see over the defense so he can make a kick to Jonas Adu who's playing like arguably the best big in the SEC, and then he makes a play. So it's kind of one of those scenarios where, I don't want to say lose-lose, but it's not a lot that you can do, you know. Um, you just kind of got to, you know, execute a game plan, hope that it works, hope that he's not making shots, hope that Jonas is not playing well out of those ball screens and the rest of our guys aren't making shots, so it makes it really tough. Yeah, Coach, I, I mean, piggybacking on that, you just kind of touched on it, but can, can you expand a little bit? I mean, Dalton's still in the headlines, but you just mentioned Jonas. Sakai's probably playing as good as any point guard in the league, and you can space the floor with Usagi, with, with Danny. Just, you know, when you've got Dalton doing what he's doing, how much does that just make the whole? It, it's, it's huge. It's, it's big for us. You know, I, I think – Right now, obviously, like national writers are, are excited about the numbers that Dalton's putting up. And, um, you know, I heard someone the other day say, you know, Dalton, Dalton connect in the Tennessee Vols. And he would tell you that that's probably not the case. Uh, we, we got a lot of guys that are really effective, um, really gifted offensive players. You know, when, when you sit and think about it, like, Let's say, for instance, at the end of the year, Dalton is probably going to be on the All-League team. Jonas is probably going to be on the All-League team. That means that every one of our starters at some point in their career have been on the All-League team in this league, right? So it's not a fact of it's just Dalton and all these other guys standing around. Like, Jonas is playing at a really high level. Zakai Ziegler is playing like one of the best point guards in the league. Santi and Josiah are guys that have won a ton of games in this league over the last few years. Uh, or I'm sorry, over their career, period. So we've got a lot of different weapons. The fact that we've had multiple guys that have had 20-point games this year I think speaks to the firepower that we do have. Um, so I, I'm excited of the fact that guys have to key in on him and he's playing this well because all that does is give another opportunity to another guy to go against a, maybe a lesser matchup or a weaker defender because everybody's going to put their best wing defender on Dalton, um, which means that – your defender that's maybe not as good as guarding Santi Vescovi, who's just been two-time first team all SEC over the last few years. So yeah, it, it presents some matchup issues, which is great for us. A lot of guys. What did JP do well the other night? JP, um, he was physical. Um, obviously, he's a, he's a big, stout kid. Um, he played really hard, and that's, that's what we've been asking of him. We've been wanting him to re replace kind of some of that physicality that Uros brought in the past. Um, we think he's starting to kind of grasp it and understand. Um, and you know, I, I I think of this one possession because he does it all the time. When we were recruiting JP, the, the biggest thing that we realized is that he had some of the best hands that we ever seen on a big guy. Um, the possession where he got the offense rebound, he tipped it to himself and popped right back up and just shot it was amazing. Like. Freshmen don't do that, um, let alone like it's guys that are, have been in college four or five years that don't do that, especially big guys. So the fact that he can be that effective and bring the physicality around the rim and the touch and the scoring, it, it's big for us, and we need him to keep emerging. A lot of the guys have brought up watching Dalton and Jemai go at it in the summer as being kind of the first time they're like, wow, Dalton mm -hmm. can be the type of player that he's shown to be. What was the first time you watched him play one-on-one -on -one or go at it in practice, and, and what was your reaction watching it? They were playing one-on-one -on, -one on his visit a little bit, which 
at first I was kind of nervous of it. I thought I was going to scare him off and he wouldn't come here because, you know, when Shaq plays one-on-one, -on -one, he's not, like, playing around. Like, he's being serious. So um, they kind of started a bond on his visit, um, and it kept continuing to grow, uh, even in the process of him deciding after he left here once he committed. Like, you know, I think – I'm pretty sure Dalton told me that Shaq was like the first dude to reach out to him and he was excited for him to come in. And, you know, when we do one-on-one -on -one breakdowns at, at the beginning of every practice, they, they guard each other. Um, I think for Dalton, and he could tell you better than I could, and I'm sure he would, prepping every week against Shaq and then going out and, and playing against these other teams, there's no one that's guarded him that guards him like Shaq. Nobody. So if you can get better in practice and, and score on Shaq, you're probably going to be all right for the game. So. They've been a huge help for each other. Um, they've made each other better every single day. And you, you know, going on Shaq's hand, like, who is he guarding that's probably better than Dalton Connect most nights? Probably not gonna happen, you know? So, um, you know, they, they've done an incredible job just building each other up as much as all these guys have. It, it's been a great thing to see. I was Jordan question. I was seeing Jordan start seeing some shots go down the past couple of games. It's ben, great. Where's that change for you guys you're getting that bench production? It's great, it's great. It's been, it's been, Huge for us because, um, you know, Jordan's one of those guys that puts in a lot of work, works really hard on his game. And to see him not making shots in games, it's where the humility part comes out as a coach. Forget the game, forget basketball. It's like one of the things you, you see someone working really hard for something and they're not quite getting what they deserve. And it's kind of hard to watch. Um, it, it makes you feel for him because, you know, those are the things we talk about guys going through things off the court. Yeah, it's a hard thing to grasp, especially with a guy that, you know, obviously set himself with a lot of expectations early in the year with how he was playing. So to see him go out and not make shots and struggle, it, it was hard. Um, but to see him bounce back how he has, it's, it's been great. It's been electric for us with him coming off the bench and being instant offense, um, bringing that energy. And, you know, you see that he's kind of blew two games open, being Alabama and Vandy. Um, just from coming off with his energy and making shots and making plays. And it's such a big boost for us and our guys. And, and everybody can feel it. Uh, it's huge when he comes off and he's making those plays. And, you know, he's coming in and he's kind of changing the attitude a little bit where we can sub and we don't lose anything. Um, so if he continues to play like that, it, it makes us obviously, or makes our bench even, even stronger, uh, makes us even deeper, and it makes us more versatile. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach.